uh, the dating scene changed in the past few decades in light of the rise of all kinds of apps. And you think of Match.com, you think of Bumble and Bumble, you think of Tinder, and then there was Grinder, and then, I don't know, there's things I've never even heard of. I think there's one called Salt Now, Marky. Uh, she's sitting next to me. But we're going to have this conversation <laughs> with Bella. Uh, these days, Gen Z is shifting how they're dating and with whom. And Bella Gandhi, relationship extraordinaire, and the founder of Smart Dating Academy, and also somebody that we just love talking to. Um, hi, Bella, what's good? Adrian, good morning. I'm Monday morning and dating. There's no better thing in you, so here we are. You know what, all the favorite flavors. Uh, let's talk about the American Perspective Survey that says younger Americans, I'm guessing I'm a little too old to be considered a younger American, but I'm gonna claim it, are interested in no. dating people they already know. Is that because they have trust issues? It's because they're understanding how it's best to logically meet people. Younger Americans have grown up with smartphones in their hands, unlike you, unlike me. And now they're realizing, wow, it's great to have a cell phone and connect with people. But guess what? If I put my phone away and actually talk to people in my friend groups or even at bars and elevators, I can meet people organically. It's going old school and I am here for it. I love old school, frankly. I I'm not going to reveal to you uh, my own personal experience, uh, but let's talk about men first. Uh, according to a Pew Research study, 63% of men aged 18 to 29 report being single. I'm a bit surprised, but I think that men 18 to 29 would categorize themselves single, even though they had a lot of attraction and interaction with whoever they're in love with or in like with for that hot minute or that one night stand. Is that right? I mean, the definition of single <laughs> or coupled is very differential today. But yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. If you want to know that you were dating somebody exclusively, don't assume like, hey, I'm not with anyone else right now. That doesn't mean you're exclusive. The door could be open. Have that DTR conversation. Determine the relationship. Are we exclusive? Boyfriend, girlfriend, 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 whatever it is, have those conversations. Assume nothing. Assume nothing. Ask lots of questions. Uh, yes. And it's fine if you're seeing other people, but just disclose that information so I don't have to find out about it on Instagram, which I will remark. I said I was going to talk about my personal life, but Instagram is one of the best ways to meet people nowadays. They just DM you. You don't even have to get a dating app. Uh, but I have to ask you, what's the success rate lately on dating apps in general? Are people still finding true love or is it kind of getting played out? At Smart Dating Academy, Adrian, my company, 90% of our clients that find love, and we've been around for 14 years, they find love using the dating app. So as much as the holy grail for people is to meet people in person or through their friend groups, don't discount the dating apps. And I love that you're getting DMs on Instagram. <laughs> That's a great way to connect with people that you might not know, but there's context and community around that. So it doesn't seem so creepy. It can be still creepy, Bella. It still, yeah. <laughs> it can be. You gotta, be, you gotta you. still vet people. Watch out. Have your friends stalk them on Instagram and online, and find out what their situation is because people They're have baggage. Yeah. Amen. I'm I mean, with we all, you. We all have stuff. Bella. We all have stuff, and the more circles we have around the world, the more the heavier our backpacks get. You know what I mean? <laughs> heavier our backpacks. Thank you so much. At least it's a backpack and not like a checked-in luggage that's 60 <laughs> inches around. Bella. Trunk. All right. pound trunks. Thank you. Always good to chat with you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.